Hello, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. Today, I am going to talk to you about the work at home uh, kitchen table discussion number one for my YouTube audience. This particular video will be a little bit different than uh, the others that you will see on Facebook Live simply because this audience is spiritual, and so we are definitely going to bring God into this work at home discussion. First of all, some of you all, you know that you have prayed and you have asked the Lord for money, okay, and lots of it. And for some of you all, that was not the prayer, but you prayed, Lord, how do I obtain money? And so God has made a way for you to do this sort of thing, but exactly what the steps are, you're probably only getting bits and pieces. Um, who you're supposed to connect with. Once again, you may be struggling with that. And so we're going to get into ways to obtain this money that you need. And also we're going to talk about uh, the work at home uh, related uh, topics because I know for some of you all, it's not necessarily not having money, but you're making the money, but you want to also be able to do it from home. So we are going to go ahead and do just that. First of all, this work at home kitchen table discussion is number one, income streams. Okay, we're going to focus in on the various ways to make money. Uh, the next kitchen table discussion will deal with work at home challenges, so you don't want to miss that. Uh, those dates are March 1st and March 11, and that will be on Facebook Live. The times will be posted. Um, but for those of you all who want to mark that on your calendar, I can tell you that those times are Thursday, March 1st at 8.30 p.m. and Sunday, March 11th at 7.30 p.m. Okay? All right, so we're going to go ahead and talk about these different income streams. Also, I am the author of... What else can I do on the internet? Useful ideas to help you get the most out of your internet experiences. And in this book, you will find keyword searches that you can use uh, to better your research, as well as you will find all sorts of topics that can help you get the most out of your internet experiences. So within the book, you will see that I have my personal experiences, but I also provide others' experiences as well. Um, you'll learn about ways to communicate via the internet um, that you may not have thought about, uh, creative types of things, business, computers, uh, shopping, internet safety, finances, research, recreation, spirituality, dating, and all sorts of things that you may not have thought about when uh, sitting in front of your computer. So this is definitely an idea generator and by all means, check it out. That's What Else Can I Do on the Internet by Nicole McGuire. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna talk about these income streams. First and foremost, I will tell you that anytime you want to work from home, you have to think about the time that it's going to take to work from home, is your environment conducive to working from home or not, okay? If you've got a lot of activity going on and you don't have a place to work, it's safe to say that working from home is not going to be ideal for you, okay? But if you can be able to make the environment uh, just the type where you can be able to get some things done, um, then you just might be a success at it. You've got your necessary tools that the work at home opportunity or business is requiring. You have your space, you're following the instructions, no problem. Now, income streams. Let's talk about those income streams. Let's say that when you prayed, the Lord showed you different uh, resources, but you're saying to yourself, I don't know. I don't know if I should get involved with this one or that one. Okay, but you do have some resources, okay? Now, before you even make the phone call, do any further research, you need to once again know, is this something that I'm going to be able to be dedicated to, 
disciplined enough? Do I have the time and do I have the money to invest? Because some of these businesses are going to require an investment. I know some people don't like to hear that because they're used to a traditional job where you show up and you get paid for everything you do. Well, there are some companies where nowadays they're saying that we will pay you for performance. We're not going to pay you hourly. We're not going to pay you while you're at the water cooler. We're not going to pay you while you're visiting your neighbors. We want some performance. And so some of these companies are letting people know from the start, if you work for us, you are going to get paid for what you do on the phone, for what you do on a computer. Nothing more, nothing less. So if you're not using the computer or the phone, you don't get paid. All right? Which I don't really see anything wrong with it because uh, a lot of folks are simply wasting money. Wasting money on the wrong folks that are connected to the wrong things. And some of you all, being business owners, entrepreneurs, you know. <laughs> so what are some income streams and what are some things that you can do from home? Well, you can do some online sales. You can participate in auction sites. You can participate in um, classified ad postings where you have a product to sell or you can sell someone else's product, okay? You can um, sell photos. You can also sell video clips and you can sell articles. And I chose selling articles years ago and I've been doing that um, now for almost a decade and I will tell you it's been profitable for me, okay? Other people have done things like graphic design. Um, people have joined sites like Fiverr and have been able to uh, just utilize their talents that way. And for those of you all who are interested in selling your services and skills, uh, Fiverr as well as many others, there's Tenor. Um, these are just odd little sites but they are sites where people will look for cheap labor um, and uh, people who need to make some money uh, rather quickly will go to. Another way that you can make money is to participate in online as well as offline studies. We're talking about market research. We're talking about giving uh, blood <laughs> if you're offline or donating plasma. You can appointment set for yourself and then go out and uh, make money that way, okay? Um, some of the things are not going to be necessarily work from home, but I am mentioning these things because people are praying and they're asking, I need money like yesterday. So this is why I'm going to throw some things on the income stream wheel to help you out. And this is my own personal income stream wheel where I just have all sorts of ways that I make money. Um, and uh, you can have your own as well. Crowdfunding. Crowdfunding is out there. That's going to those crowdsource uh, websites. Um, fundraising, if you will. Maybe there is something that you are devoted to, uh, some type of cause or what have you. Um, this is a way to make some money, okay? By getting people, complete strangers, to buy into what it is that you feel is very important to you. Um, for uh, some of you all, you may be into sweepstakes, okay? Or online uh, games. There are sites out there where you can get paid to uh, participate in uh, online gaming and there's also those sites where you simply submit your name and then you are up uh, for um, any number of prizes okay some people they actually make this a job that's all they do is participate in sweepstakes and online games um, when they're free okay this is something that has worked for me event planning if you host a birthday party at your house if you host um, a home business fair, uh, if you host um, a career fair, if you uh, even have some type of uh, um, gathering based on your interests and you charge a small fee, people will show up. Um, you will also make money um, if you sell tables, if you sell space, okay, um, out of your home for an event maybe that you're not hosting, but you have the space to do it. So that is a way to make some money. 
The obvious way that most of us um, have made money over the years and continue to do so is part-time and full-time jobs. You can get part-time and full-time jobs, of course, by looking at the typical career boards, right? Like career builder, uh, like uh, Monster, as well as uh, Indeed, okay? And there's a number of other ones that are out there, um, Craigslist even. And when you look at the part-time and full-time jobs, um, you're also going to look at how much time, once again, that you have to dedicate. And also, there are those temp agencies, so don't sleep on them. And I've done that over, over a decade. Temp agencies will get you some employment, uh, the right ones uh, that know how to match you up, your skill set. And next thing you know, you have a job within a day, week or months just depending on how easy it is to place you I will tell you the more difficult people to place are those individuals who number one don't show consistent employment those that have moved around a lot at times um, and the ones who simply just don't have the skills okay for whatever reason they just didn't bother to get the necessary skills for the jobs that they're applying so it will take longer for those people. You can offer service. This is an income stream that works and I've done it. You can offer to wash somebody's car. You can offer to um, do some um, handyman types of labor. You can help people move. Um, you can help people set up for their events. Just charge a small fee and voila, there you have it. You got some extra money in your pocket. Nobody says that you must have a job and only a job to make money. You can make money in so many different ways, okay? Another way that I've made money in the past has been flea markets and craft fairs. Okay? They come in handy and lots of them show up during the... Um, during the summer and spring okay look out for those and holiday seasons like Christmas so if you've got a product that you know how to put together and you think that it is uh, worthy to be sold then by all means you use your skills that God has given you and you make that happen and you build up enough products so that way when the flea market or the craft fair shows up you've got products sitting on that table okay another way that people make money is AdSense. This is something that, yes, you can work at your kitchen table. AdSense is simply having advertisements on your blogs as well as your YouTube pages and anywhere else that AdSense is welcomed. You can look that up. I don't have time to get into it, but AdSense is definitely a way to monetize what you are already doing on the internet and get paid through Google. All right. Now, something that you can do is look up work at home jobs on the career boards so just like you looked it up for your part-time and your full-time job um, working outside the home you can do the same thing by using monster career builder craigslist indeed and others okay put in work at home job and then we'll get into some of those work at home job categories um, that you can uh, work from home Surveys. This is something that my children do as well as uh, some people that I know. Okay, and I've done this in the past. Um, it was extra diaper money. It was extra food money. It was extra uh, money for transportation. Surveys are out there and yes, you do get paid. I know some people don't like having to sit in front of their computer for 5, 10, 15, 20, even 30 minutes for a survey. But if you got time on your hands and you don't want to do anything else, then surveys are um, there. You can use uh, surveys while you're sitting at the dentist's office, at the doctor's appointment. Um, you can make that passive income, okay? Another way to make some money is referral links. Every time you sign up for a website, they say, well, we'll give you so much money if you share our, refer uh, share, um, our links. Okay, look for those opportunities. When you sign up for survey sites, they have them. They're referral links. 
There's special codes, special uh, web pages or what have you that you can post on your social media pages to make extra money. All of these things that you don't understand, you can look them up. If you need a system, if you need a plan, if you need training, there are people out there that have information about all of these that can get you started. I will also help out as far as work at home coaching. I do that for a modest fee and you can reach out to me about that. All right, the next thing that you can do, and this is something that many people that I know have done, investments. And I've done it myself. Investments are getting involved with real estate. You can also do it uh, with taking money, a substantial amount of money that you got from an inheritance or from an accident or what have you, and place that money in um, a 401k an IRA, a savings account that uh, builds up interest, uh, index funds, mutual funds, and you can learn about all of these different ways that you can uh, diversify your income, okay? We're talking monies that's $1,000 plus, okay? Um, and if you want to learn more about that, I have different contacts that can help you, um, financial advisors, if you will, uh, to diversify your income for you. Okay, so these are just some of the ways that people make money. Um, you can also uh, make money being an affiliate, an affiliate of a business where you um, decide that, well, I don't have a product to sell, but maybe I want to be an affiliate for Target. Maybe I want to be an affiliate for Amazon or what have you. You go down to the bottom of the main website pages of those places that you enjoy shopping or you've purchased items and check to see if they have a contact page, if they have an affiliate marketing program, okay? All of these ways other than a job is how people are making money and then some. And I'm sure you can add some more income streams on here, okay? So... Once you have your income streams in place and you have some idea of what it is that you want to do, you've got to be disciplined enough to each and every day make time for each one of your income streams. I have had to break up my day three and four different ways in order to give devotion to all of the things that I do. Okay, um, One way that I make money um, on here is through books. Another way I make money on here is uh, through speaking. And uh, also for some of you all, I know that, um, you have spouses, your spouse may give you money. Okay, <laughs> that's an income source and thank you very much. <laughs> okay, and um, and then, of course, you can get money simply by asking, right? There are some people who don't mind giving good people money, donations, okay? Um, if you already work a job, you may have the type of job where you um, receive tips, okay? And if you don't, you can always ask a manager if you can put out a tip jar. So those are other ways, within ways, to make money, you see? So you're already at home. And uh, you're talking with a spouse, and let's say that your spouse um, has received extra money. And you say, well, um, is it possible if partial proceeds can go toward um, what I'm doing? And your spouse may be on board because he sees that you're taking $25 and turning it into $50. Or taking $50 and turning it into $100. Having all these different income streams is no reflection negatively on you. If anything, it shows that you are a dedicated, hard worker and that you are not solely relying on one source of income, right? You are not using and abusing people. You are doing the best that you possibly can with the time that you have on this planet. There's nothing wrong with that. What's wrong is when people take their income stream and they make it all about the income stream and there's no time to communicate 
with people. There's no time to, you know, show some love, if you will. That's when it becomes a negative thing. Or when people are doing shady things, lying, stealing, lack of transparency, um, just not telling the truth about the income stream. That's when you got the negative re reviews that show up on some of these businesses. It's not necessarily the business that's bad. It's the people who will do and say things that are negative. That is when... Um, we have no choice but to say, okay, maybe I don't want to be connected to the person. All right, so what are some ways now that we can zero in on to work from home? Okay. There are things that people do that are successful. First of all, customer service. They attain customer service jobs. They have the necessary tools like a computer, um, a phone, uh, based on the requirements that the company offers. So they have this customer service um, position. They participate in sales, as I mentioned, on the income stream wheel. They also have data entry jobs. And um, some of these data entry jobs um, are available through banks. They're also available uh, through temp agencies, okay? Research jobs, jobs that involve research over the internet. There are those technological jobs that they have. Um, building websites, uh, coming up with the necessary code uh, to get a website going and all that good stuff, okay? These have proven to be successful beyond all the other things that I have talked about when it comes to work at home. These are the ones that truly are your, your businesses that bring in the hourly wages or monthly wages, um, depending on the business that you get affiliated with, okay? Where am I going to look for these jobs? What am I putting in the search engines? As I mentioned before, you're going to go to career websites to find work at home jobs. And there are those <clears throat> that are out there, <clears throat> such as Monster, Career Builder, and these are job board websites, I should say. Okay, career builder, indeed. Okay, you can also type in work at home jobs, except you're not just going to put that, you're going to put in your city. You're also going to put in your interest. So if you're interested in typing, then you would put that. If you're interested in data entry, you would put that. Customer service, etc. Right now, Amazon um, has uh, Prime Jobs. And you can go to any one of these websites that you shop at, scroll down at the bottom, and at the bottom, look up careers, see what they have available. Temp agencies, find the local temp agencies in your area. And what you're gonna do is place um, an inquiry with them. You can have a cover letter specifically stating you're looking for a work at home job. Okay? So these are just some of the ways and in future kitchen table discussions I will give you more. But for sake of time, that is what um, I'm providing today. If you once again want to have a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, by all means we can do that. All right, now, for some of you all, the skills that you have, God gifted you with a craft. Let's talk more about that. Whatever that craft is, whatever that skill is, that talent, what is it that you do? What is it that you do that people have said, wow, you should make that a business. Wow, you're very gifted. Ooh, that is a really good talent that you have. What is it that you can be able to take and get paid, okay? 
and you don't have to worry about a really lengthy business plan just write down what it is that you like to do at this point and then you're going to expound upon that so here's what I like to do let's just say it's a craft we don't have to get into specifics I've got to find the people who are interested in that craft okay because if I find the people then I've got to make sure that I have a system in place in order to sell that craft so if your system is going up and talking to people, then that's what you do. You just hit up people in your day-to-day -day routine and tell them what it is that you do and then provide them with a flyer, card, leaflet, brochure and tell them to get back to you, okay? That system is going to bring in the dollars. How are you going to obtain it? You're going to obtain it. You're going to obtain those dollars because your system is in place, okay? How much money do you hope to acquire? You should have some type of goals in mind. If your goal is to help your child with college using your craft, okay, then so be it. If your goal is to buy a new car, if your goal is to pay off your house, whatever it is, set those goals in motion and have those goals posted on a wall, some motivation, okay? Then you're gonna see, test it out 30 days, 45 days, six months, a year, test it out and see what the results are. If there are some positive results, you stick with it. If there are no positive results, we get that off our income stream wheel. You understand? We don't leave stuff on the income stream wheel that's not making money. And that's why on my income stream wheel over the years, I had to cross out some things. Certain companies that I was affiliated with, when am I getting paid? Oh, not getting paid? Okay. Well, you got to do, devote so much time, energy, or what have you. I only have so much time or energy to devote to something that I truly want to do. And after a while, when you don't see results, you usually don't want to do it. Okay? Or if the results are dismal, you usually let it go. It doesn't make you a bad person. It just makes you a smart person because you know what kind of time you have. Okay? All right. So I'm going to give you some examples. I'm going to give you some examples of some things that um, are worth checking into. We'll talk about Amazon. We'll talk about eBay. And we'll talk about that other, whatever your other is, okay? Amazon is worth looking into simply because, number one, you can make money being an affiliate for them, having a job with them, posting your own product with them, okay? Um, these are just three ways of making money with them. And so you look up Amazon jobs. You look up being an Amazon affiliate. You look up creating a product and posting up posting it up on um, Amazon and I've done all of these and I continue to have my products right now um, I've already applied for um, a job with them and I have been an affiliate for a number of years for Amazon products eBay you can be an affiliate with them you can sell products and I need to put that on Amazon too you can sell product your own product you can sell products on eBay right and there are people who have gotten jobs with eBay. Same thing. You see what I mean? There are jobs within jobs. There are monies within monies with some of these bigger companies. You just got to be the one to inquire. Ask about the company that pops into your mind. Uh, when you have that uh, prayer time and you see things that pop up in the spirit, you write down those things and you look into them. If they're a dead end, you'll know you've done the research. If they are good, you know because you've done the research. The other. What is the other? That is up to you to determine. I just gave you some examples, not for you to go, okay, yes, I'm going to do that. But you may have this other that the Lord is speaking to you about, and this other may produce money as an affiliate. You start off as, then you say, you know what, I want a job. Then you say, I want to sell a product. Then you might want to buy the stock for it, so now you're investing in it. Then you decide that you might want to model the system. 
and create your own business out of it, I mean, the sky's the limit. You might find out that they're um, affiliated with AdSense and now you've created some videos about the business. Now you've got articles that you're writing about the business. Now you're doing podcasts. Okay, I'm getting into the marketing, but all of this is going to produce what? Bottom line, money. Okay? The opportunity, once again, is out there. People just have to be dedicated. They have to know exactly what it is that they want to do. Spiritual people are going to consult with their personal Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Other folks are going to consult, of course, with mentors. Um, other people are going to do a combination of both Jesus Christ and the mentors. Hallelujah and praise the Lord. <laughs> so, another example, YouTube. YouTube has different ways to make money. AdSense. Monetizing those videos. That means that those commercials are popping up, people are clicking on them, and one is making money. Nowadays, there's Patreon. People becoming patrons of their favorite YouTubers. That means that they have so much money that is being withdrawn out of their account to help support the YouTuber. People are selling merchandise via their videos. Okay, Whether their own personal uh, merchandise that they created or for other companies. People are also putting links in the description box towards, uh, to their uh, websites. as well as uh, marketing for other people and getting paid, okay? They are also using YouTube to crowdfund projects offline. And they're also using YouTube for sponsorships. Sponsoring other people's products, services, causes, and getting paid. Blogger. Blogs have been around for a while now. A lot of people have them. How are people getting paid off of their blogs? Affiliate links. And I'm saying all of this because this is what I've been doing. <laughs> That's exactly what I've been doing. You're seeing a live person, okay, that has been doing this stuff over the years. Referral links. And my motivation for doing it is simply, be, number one, I like to stay active. I'm not that one that wants to sit back and collect off of someone else. You see what I mean? I like to build a name for myself. Doesn't mean that I'm having a bunch of struggles. Doesn't mean that I'm going through a lot. Doesn't mean that I'm, you know, uh, oh, she's just so poor and broke and busted and disgusted. No, the Lord has put something in my spirit to help other people. And sometimes, yes, you go from a brokenness to um, a success. You go from uh, being that one that's wounded to being healed. And he, God can do it in so many different ways, okay? And for some of you all, it's the money that you need to motivate you to get you to do certain things. Then once the money comes, for some of you all, you're going to do just what you said you're going to do with it. Others, you're going to get the money and you're not going to do what you uh, are supposed to. And so the Lord gives and then the Lord takes away. Okay, um, blog sponsor post is another way. And then, of course, advertising via good old-fashioned ads, banner ads, uh, you know, things like that. Sell products on your blog. And then, of course, AdSense. Okay? So, you see, so many different ways to make some money using what you already have. This is pretty much what these examples are showing you, that if I'm already affiliated with something, how do I take it to the next level? Going back to my book, what else can I do on the internet? You see, you're already on the internet, but how are you gonna take your internet experience to the next level, where it's profitable for you, where it's beneficial spiritually, mentally, right, financially? Taking what you already do and making something happen with it. Another good example is, uh, why search for free? They, they're looking, these companies are looking and they see everything that you put in the search engine. Bing said, well, we will actually award you, reward you, okay, um, for your searches. So many points are allocated towards your account to purchase future gift cards on searches. Uh, inbox dollars where there's surveys and gaming and things like that where people get paid, once again, not free stuff. Um, you can search through inbox dollars and get paid that way. 
so many ways to make money and people sleep on it. And so many ways to save money or get money put back into your account. Ebates has done a good job with that. Now some of you all are like, well, what's Ebates? Ebates is like what offline rebates used to be. Remember good old fashioned rebate coupons and you used to send those in and the company would give you some money back? Well, Ebates is the online version of going to a site, okay, your favorite website, and I've been making money this way too. You go to your favorite website, and then you then once you go from your favorite website, you you notice that wait a minute, I'm not going to just go on that site and that's it. I want to make I want to make some money from that site. You know, some of my money back at least because I'm already spending it. So instead of just going to your favorite website, you go to Ebates first and see if your favorite website is there. And there's other uh, sites that are like this and you can look them up. You can put Ebates al um, alternatives, okay? And there's sites where they will give you money back for shopping at your favorite website. So you go to Ebates first, then you go to f your favorite website, and then um, Ebates has already logged that you've been on the site, and then Ebates will put some money in your account, okay? Whether it's 5%, uh, if they have a special of some sort going on, so money is going right back to you, you see, for shopping your favorite website. Now, some folks want to just go straight to www. But yet you're not getting any money back for that purchase. Okay? And some people are skeptical about it and all that. But why would you be skeptical of something that people are already telling you that you're making money, that they're making money off of? You see, that just, for me, I, I have problems with people who have that sort of skepticism because that skepticism is hindering you, is keeping you from doing anything. And you're doing the same old, same old simply because you don't want to change your routine. What is it going to hurt to just bring up Ebates, look up whether or not your favorite website is supported by it, okay, and then get the money, you know, from that purchase. But, you know, people are going to come up with all sorts of excuses when they don't want to change, okay. And I don't have patience. I'm telling you right now, as a work at home coach, I do not have patience for individuals who do not want to change. You got to be open minded, okay? Be willing to do something before you go wanting a coach to get involved. If you're not willing to do uh, something, it's going to be some friction, and then eventually you're not going to get the results from the coaching, okay? So, by all means, make sure that you know that you know this is what you want to do. Okay, so in the future, I'm going to get into marketing that product, marketing whatever it is that you are um, a part of, um, your network marketing, your um, MLM, your event planning, uh, your uh, product that you recently created. We're going to get into the marketing in a future kitchen table discussion, but I want people, though, to have that mindset right now to go ahead and get those multiple income streams in place first then we can talk about marketing and you know increasing traffic and all that later but this is just the start of many good work at home discussions um, in the future the next one please be advised is march 1st it is work at home discussion number two and we're going to talk about Work at home challenges. Okay. Now, while you are looking up all of these different ways to make money, I want you to pay close attention to some things. Okay. First of all, check with the Better Business Bureau. Some of these companies are accredited. Some of them are not. Um, some of them, though, look at how long they've been around. Even if they're not accredited, Look at how long they've been around. If they've been around for 40 some years, you know that that's a pretty solid business, okay? We don't have to get all like weird about it um, just because it's not accredited by the Better Business Bureau. But you do want to check um, the Better Business Bureau out if you have some skepticism, some questions, some doubts. I don't look that closely to customer reviews simply because I know there are those disgruntled people who because they didn't get their money or because they didn't fill out the documents or whatever, um, didn't dedicate their time, um, they're, vent they're venting because they didn't make money or because somebody messed up something. That's one person. But if there's a series of people, and I'm talking about hundreds and hundreds of people who have complaints, then yes, I'm going to consider that. So we do want to check out reviews. Um, but we don't want to make it the all in all because your research should not just be about reviews. You can also check out the state attorney general's office. 
in your area and uh, see what kind of complaints have been filed that way. Um, also, you want to see if the business has some transparency. Okay, in other words, does it have a contact phone number? Is there a real person that you can talk to? Um, is there an email address? Um, is the person going to respond to the email? Uh, also, other ways of transparency is to um, just look at the track record, look at the history, look at what other people are saying. Okay, were they able to get through with ease uh, when there was a problem? All right, so start getting those uh, homework assignments going, right? And then when we get back, we'll have something to talk about in terms of where you are on your journey towards working from home, okay? Work at home discussion number two will be March 1st. And once again, that time is, I do believe, 8.30. Yes, Thursday, March 1st at 8.30. So do mark your calendars, okay? And I will see you soon, right? All right, on the way to the top. Have a great day, blessings to you, and continue to be in prayer about what it is that God has in store for you.